everyone. You came just in time for my bean party. It's that time of the year again. Everybody around town knows about my bean parties. And today I wanted to invite you. But first, I need to see how many people I can invite. I have four cups of beans, and I want to make sure that everybody's leaving with a full tummy. So I'm going to make sure that each person who comes to my party gets a two cup serving. Think about this. I know I have four cups and each person's going to get a two cup serving. Now I need to know how many servings I can get. How can I solve this? That's right, division and repeated subtraction. So I could do four divided by two or four and repeatedly subtract that serving size of two cups. I have four cups, here's a two cup serving size, here's a two cup serving size. That means I can serve two people. Oh, but wait a second, a two person bean party just isn't a party. What if I have four cups and I'm going to give each person a one cup serving? Now they're not going to get as many beans so they won't have those full tummies, but they'll, it'll be more of a party. Let's see now. I have four cups. Each person is getting a one cup serving size. So I'm going to repeatedly subtract or divide that one cup serving size until I can see how many servings or the number of servings. Well, that's four servings. But still, a four person party just isn't a party. Why don't we try this? What if I give each person a half cup serving size? Let me split these servings into half cup serving sizes. I've split my cups into half cup serving sizes. Now I'm going to figure out if I have four cups and I'm re repeatedly subtracting or repeatedly taking away a half cup serving size, how many people can I serve? So here's my uh, four cups and here's a half cup, one half cup, two half cup, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four divided by one half, or repeatedly subtracting one half, gives me eight. That means that eight people can come to my bean party. Nobody wants to come to your bean party. What about a cake party? I have half of a cake. Well, that's not quite enough for a party, but I'll share it with you. Okay, so we have half of a cake and there's going to be two equal shares. So one half divided into two, that means each of us get one fourth of the whole cake. Okay, but don't forget about Dr. Hill and Dr. Violet. That's right, so one half divided into four equal shares. All right, that means that each of us now gets one eighth of the whole cake. Perfect, thanks Ebony. In most multiplication and division problems, there are three parts the number of groups, the size of each group, and the total. If we don't know the total, we multiply, as in eight groups of one half is four. However, if we know the total but don't know the number of groups or the size of each group, we divide. During our bean party, we knew the total amount of beans was four cups. We knew that each serving size was one half cup. We just didn't know how many groups or how many servings we could make. When we know the size of each group, but we don't know how many groups, we can repeatedly subtract and find out how many groups or how many servings. When I was partitioning one half of a cake into equal parts or equal groups, I knew the total amount was one half of a cake. I knew the number of parts or groups was four. I just didn't know the size of each group. When you know the total and you know the number of parts or groups, you can make fair shares to find the size of each share.